Speed and X, the sons of the legendary Speed Racer, the world's most famous racer. He's so famous, in fact, that this racing academy was founded in his honor. It's all run by the boy's uncle, Headmaster Spritel. Spritel desperately wants to honor his brother's memory by helping train the next generation of racers. You see, Speed Racer has mysteriously disappeared, but not before inventing this. I'm telling you, this design is incomplete, but this engine was designed to run something besides gas. He'd never figure it out alone, but thankfully he has some good friends with him. Like Lucy. Focus tomorrow, Speed. All the media hype is gonna be a huge distraction. Just remember you have years to go pro. So put all that stuff out of your head and remember to keep your focus where it belongs. CCDS. Concentration, control, decisions, and speed. You got it. We do make a great team, don't we? The best. Oh, uh, where'd I put that pen I was using. Connor. Why does it smell like fried salami in here? Because of this. Chim Chim, if you please. And Chim Chim. You want to borrow Chim Chim? Get off! Get... Oh. That's one useful robot monkey. This is wrong on so many levels. Together, they work to perfect the Mach 6's gasless engine, a task that is infinitely more difficult than it sounds. <coughs> nope, still nothing. See what I mean? I don't understand it. We're so close. Why can't we get the Mach 6's gasless engine to work? Not enough pressure for one teenage boy, you say? <laughs> then let's ratchet it up. This is Zyle Zazik. Billionaire oil magnate, racing enthusiast, and a real thorn in Speed's side. Tonight, we're going to attack, and attack in force. At the stroke of 12, we'll storm Connor's garage and take the Mach 6. Then there is his daughter, Annalise. Aw, oh, what's the matter, Speedy? Can't take a little heat? Our big hero, Speedy here, got his butt kicked today. <laughs> I'd like to see how you do in the same situation. If it isn't Speedy's little protector. Hey, nice threads, Lucy. How much longer do you have to wear that before you win the bet? She's the most popular girl at the racing academy and uses every trick in her arsenal, <gasps> along with Jared and Jesse, to get in Speed's way. She does all this to help her father, but she's got her own reason to despise Speed. Daddy! What's wrong, my most precious daughter? I just want Speed to stop getting between X and me. We're the perfect couple. That's it! I'm sick of you always choosing Speed and his crew over me! I'm not. I'm choosing lunch. Ah! Speed Racer thinks he's so smart, but he hasn't had to deal with me before, because I'm gonna get my hands on his precious Mach 6, and once I figure it out, I'm gonna melt it down for tennis bracelets. Needless to say, it's been a tough year for Speed. Engage Operation Releasing the Goons. Not good. See what I mean? Man, what a year. Were your parents into racing? I'm... I don't know my parents. I grew up in an orphanage. The only thing I know about my family is that my father left me this and the red bandana. We found it in pieces in the junkyard and put it back together. That's so not cool, X. Are you just gonna let him get away with driving your dad's car? Watch this! This is fun! Now to destroy that blasted car once and for all. Okay, time to move. But if I'm gonna get out of this... Uh oh I just destroyed the Mach 5. I know! How could you destroy this beautiful... Connor! I mean, it's... But there's always hope it'll get better. Say hello to your brother. That's right. Your Speed Racer's son. Here. The unlimited car parts? I... 
Uh, take that certificate, get the parts you need to build a car, and bring your A-game to the track. That way, nobody can say I didn't beat you fair and square. I think I'm starting to understand why everyone was after my dad. If he completed this design, people wouldn't need gas anymore. And a lot of people would lose a lot of money. A whole lot. Let's get these designs back to Connor. I can't wait to see the Mach 6. Check it out, folks! Speed's new car! Only the sickest vehicle ever built, and I did it! Wouldn't it be marvelous if you never had to worry about gasoline? <laughs> With my patented technology, the Eco Car uses just a tiny fraction of the gasoline of a conventional car. It can get hundreds of miles per gallon. Wow! That car sounds amazing. It's not quite a gasless engine, but it could still be the key to figuring out the Mach 6. This guy might help. You should be focused on new things, like my eco car. But we are interested in new technology, and my father was too. If you're referring to those old rumors that Speed Racer developed some sort of super efficient engine, don't believe them. That was all just daydreams and lies, or someone would have found it by now. That could have gone better. I am challenging all racers to a three-day road rally. If anyone beats me in my three-day rally, I will give them my entire company. That sounds promising. His whole company? If we won, then we could finally finish the gasless engine. Now all Speed needs to do is beat the world's most talented racers. That shouldn't be too hard. Or should it? Hey, Connor, are we almost ready? The race is about to start. Just a few more tweaks and... <laughs> What's that? Avalanche! Connor, we have to get out of here! But the Mach 6 will be crushed! We have to move it! No, there's no time! Chim Chim, get clear! Don't be a hero! Look out! Chim Chim! No! Someone tried to take out the Mach 6 with an avalanche. Look what you've done! Does this make you feel like a big man? Don't worry too much about Chim Chim. He's a survivor. That camera's been acting weird all day, ever since the accident with Chim Chim. Ah! I knew it! This cave is haunted with bear ghosts. Photographer bear ghosts. Calm down, Connor. I think it started flashing when Lucy said Chim Chim. Let me see this. Is it broken or something? You guys aren't gonna believe this. It's Chim Chim. Before he was crushed, he must have wirelessly uploaded his brain into the camera's hard drive. Look. See? Chim Chim. But discovering Chim Chim in the digital camera isn't the only thing the friends found out. Took photos during the avalanche. Who's that on top of the hill? Zoom in. Ranford! And to think, I actually was going to enjoy this can of tasty Ranford Cola. Where did you get that? I grabbed it from his can site when we were sneaking out. What? Oh, notice he has cases of the stuff. Ah, Ew! Gross! What? It's gas! That's crazy! Why would there be gas in a soda can? Because he doesn't actually have a super efficient engine. His eco car is an eco fake! What a snake that guy is. <laughs> There's no stopping us now! Remember how Ranford caught me with a cola can filled with gas? It got poured into his fuel tank. It wasn't one of his gas cans. It was a real can filled with Ranford cola. The sugar in that soda will wreck the engine. Man, this is gonna be great. What's happening? Wait a second. It appears Ranford is having some sort of mechanical difficulty. No! Now I've seen everything. Here comes the Mach 6. It's doing about six knots. Get ready for a hostile takeover! No! I won't lose my company! Not to you kids! Friends, I think it's time we go into business together. Yeah! I can't believe it! The Mach 6 won! The Mach 6 won! I was hoping you knew when we get to take over Ranford Automotive. Speed! 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 Tell us, Speed! How do you feel about the big news? What big news? The stockholders of Ranford Automotive were very unhappy over his lies. They all dumped their stock. The company had to declare bankruptcy. Well, that stinks. But it has only redoubled Speed's determination to perfect the gasless engine. Someday soon, we'll finish the gasless engine and change the world. Yeah! Hyper Cheetah, catch it if you can. And if you can't, catch it anyway.
And now that you've seen his commercial, please welcome Damien Russ. Damien Russ is guest speaking at the Racing Academy. Not everyone is happy about that. Tell me what's on your mind. I heard Damien talking about me. Of course, he's telling everyone how much he admires your driving. That wasn't what he said. He wants to capture me and steal the Mach 6. You must have misheard what he said. I Speed isn't the only one who didn't care for Damien. Damien is reckless. Wherever he goes, accidents follow. When even Speed Racer liked him. His reckless driving caused one of the worst crashes of my career. But we would soon come to find out that not all is as it seems. Professor Wen must have overcompensated and crashed. She was knocked out and crashed to the side of the road. Damien saw my father was clear and went to pull Professor Wen from her car. Turns out Damien is a good guy. Plus, he's got a lot of info for Speed. Speed. There was something very important in the car with your father when Professor Wynn was hurt. Were they plans for the engine? No, it was something even more important that he needed to keep safe. Professor Wynn and I were helping your father get you to safety that day. Looks like Speed's found a new ally in his quest to fulfill his father's dream of a gasless engine. But don't forget, Zyle is still out there plotting against him, and time is running out for them all. But as we have begun to learn, there is an even greater power that wants Speed stopped. A power that uses Zyle as a mere pawn. If I showed you my face, I'd have to dispose of you. <laughs> no more excuses, Zyle. Deliver the goods. Did you hear that? Who does she think she is? Uh, your boss? Therefore... They are the committee, and they are shadowy indeed. Zyle has to go. He's a loose cannon who knows far too much. It seems Zyle is under a bit of pressure. Oh, man. Okay, Connor. I hope this thing works. <laughs> Yeah, boss. Thank you, Einstein. Hey, Mr. Zazik. Mr. Zazik. Connor? Oh, my head. If we can't find the car, this runt is the next best thing. Help! Mm. Car! talk do your worst Zyle and his forces may have grabbed Connor for now but you can be sure speed will find a way to get him back and so will Chim Chim the monkey's invisible too huh apparently hey Lucy thanks for getting here so fast speed as fate would have it they're in the perfect position to do just that an experimental Mach 6 cloaking mishap has rendered them both invisible today's going to be a good day things are starting to go our way Stan can't you just feel it? Together with Lucy and X, they set out to get their friend back. I said good, <laughs> not crazy. Come on, I'm gonna help you escape. Huh? Speed! Shh, just follow the sound of my voice. But things don't always go as planned. Well, that plan didn't quite work. But these friends never admit defeat. And when the right moment arrived... And it's showtime. What's happening? Building, sir. Everything seems to be going haywire on. Oh! Ouch! Everyone stay out of the bathroom. I think the hand dryer's angry. And here go the lights. Good work, buddy. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Not so fast, my clever little friends. Got gotcha. you. They made their break for it. Hi, boss. In dramatic fashion. You ready to fly? Fly? Now jump! Speed and friends make it back to school. With the information Chim Chim downloaded from Zyle's computers, we have more than enough to put him away forever. We have a warrant here for the arrest of Zyle Zazik. Mr. Zazik, you're going to have to wait until I can... Hey! Just remember to sign in and wear a visitor's pass at all times. But they aren't the only ones that want Zyle. Boss, I told them they need appointments, but they seem kind of insistent. Well, come up with something else. Tell them I'm not here. Mr. Zazik says he's not here. <laughs> Mr. Z? Like the worm he is, Zyle uses this chaos to escape. 
I told you he always manages to wriggle free. Daddy, where are you? There's no time to explain, but I need to ask you a favor. I want you to take over the business until I return. Annalise in charge of Zazik Industries. I think you mean Miss Zazik. And Zyle on the run. <laughs> Things aren't looking so good for the Zazik family, and they're about to get worse. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Z. I have perfected something that will revolutionize the world. Look. Uh, how so? You see, Speed, Dr. Chesco helped your dad design it. The Chesco chamber is its final piece. Its final piece? You mean... That's right. It will let Mach 6 run using purely natural energy, without gas. It may not look like much, but it has the power to change the world and bring down the Zazix. Watch it! Where'd you learn to mop? My mistake. The danger is so great that Zyle has returned home in disguise to warn yes. Annalise. Our worst fears have come true. The gasless engine is nearly complete. An inventor claims he's made the part that'll let the Mach 6 run on natural power. And he plans to show it off here, tomorrow. Together, they concoct a plan to sabotage the test run of the Mach 6 with a new Chesco chamber installed. Now to make sure this demo goes off with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> Chamber a spectacular failure? No. We have been sabotaged! It's Sile and Stan. Exactly. They're the ones who sabotaged you, who sabotaged Dad's dream. I should have known. Well, I guess we gotta hunt him down and return the favor. Gotcha. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but they succeed. Now all they need to do is install the Chesco chamber and energize it. Sound easy? Well, it's not. You okay, Speed? I was clocking 304. Why didn't it work? Wasn't that fast enough? It should have been. Uh, uh, by my calculations, at just 82 miles per hour, oxygen should hypermix in chamber. Then what went wrong? You all saw he left off a zero, right? Fiddlesticks, I forget zero. Uh, you must go 820 miles an hour. As if the danger isn't great enough for Speed, the Zazix have their own plans for just him. Just give me the signal. He's there, Annalise. Now! Ah! <laughs> wow, these rockets have kick. No! Poor Zasix, always outclassed by speed. But one last component is needed. It's so simple, yet brilliant. What? This is no ordinary bandana. Your father made it of special fiber. So what did it do to the chamber? It seemed to stabilize it. Uh, you know, if we replicate cells in Code Mach 6, we may just have a working engine. The gasless engine is now complete. Awesome! I know. It's like, totally awesome. <laughs> You just saw one for the ages, folks. Yes. Yeah! As for Zyle and Annalise, it seems someone is not happy with them. Chesco's engine headlines the world over. As of this moment, you and your daughter are toast. What do we do now? There's only one thing to do. Destroy speed. Right now. We did it, Dad. The Mach 6 completed, the Zazix stripped of power, and let's not forget this. And you ran quite a race today. Who's there? Hello, son. Dad? Why has Speed Racer returned? Where has he been? And just who is the committee? You'll have to wait for the answers. Even greater adventures await Speed and his friends. But until then, go, Speed, go.